Welcome to the glamorous and strange world of inventor and Harvard professor David Edwards. Not long ago, Edwards' latest creation, the Laboratoire, opened in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It's a design center, exhibition space, and futuristic restaurant and bar all in one. The Laboratoire is another outlet to showcase Edwards' grand ideas and Willy Wonka-like inventions like the WAF. It's a carafe that you put your favorite drink into. And when you tip it on the side, here I have port wine, it creates a cloud of port wine. The cloud enters my glass like a liquid itself. If you look at this cloud, right. there's about 40 micrograms of port wine there. And I can actually sip this out with a special straw. I can definitely smell it. It smells great. This is a range of air nutrition products. Range Another of his products is AeroLife, Little puff. which Edwards says allows you to you inhale go. your way to better sleep so or greater to energy. Do, uh, totally <laughs> give you energy. You will see. Oh, good. My family is going to want me to have more energy, right? Well, you'll, you'll need to walk away with the sleep <laughs> product, sleep which one. is going to help calm you down. This is the place where you actually work with students. You I do. Live. Edwards got his PhD in chemical engineering. The notion here of intellectual property is... Within one, the classroom, really he teaches students to turn class, their right? big ideas into real-world products. I'm a professor of idea translation at Harvard. Of course you are. <laughs> he began his career by creating a company which came up with designs for inhalable medicines and vaccines. He did well enough with that to be able to fund his very first laboratoire in the heart of Paris. This is the O phone. This and continuing his fascination with aromas, Edwards started working on projects like the O phone, a kind of telephone for scents which he hopes will revolutionize the way we send and receive information. So if you have a great meal at the world's best restaurant, if you could send a tweet that communicated the complete olfactive experience of that restaurant, that would be interesting. That would be very interesting. <laughs> Ophone is like a phone for aroma. It works with a mobile messaging app that lets you take a picture, tag it with over 300,000 possibilities, and send it as an O-note to friends. As we Edward shows in this video, the Ophone comes programmed with thousands of smells that users can trigger when they send an O-note. Instead of just talking about sensory experiences from long distances, we can actually share them. Here, look at the chocolate. Using the Ophone, you Ooh, could even great. communicate a series of smells, say the experience of a walk through Paris. Why would it not be enough to just send pictures of these little things? Why would you want to send someone the smell of a chocolate shop instead? Actually, the smell of chocolate makes me want and love chocolate. It has a physiological <laughs> effect on me. If I tell you about chocolate, even if I showed you a picture of chocolate, it doesn't have the same effect. And so there's something about walking through the streets of Paris with a nose, which is completely unlike seeing a film of Paris. Edwards admits that the O-phone could cause a real stink in the wrong hands. Are you worried about this having bad uses? You know, people yeah. sending each other unpleasant aromas as an insult? Or, yeah, well, you know, yeah, if the yeah, guy dumps yeah. you, you yeah, yeah. send him something yeah, yeah. that's appropriate yeah, in absolutely. your mind? So we can't do anything really uh, that uh, potentially changes the world and not have the potential that it will be used um, in a negative way. Things can go wrong and you probably can get a bad odor message from your <laughs> ex-boyfriend. Still, if Edwards has his way, the O-phone may be coming soon to a store near you. And if that's not cutting edge enough, consider another of his big ideas, what he calls the wiki pearl a scoop of frozen yogurt in an edible skin. I like that, I like that. What we're really interested in, Rita, is eliminating plastic in food packaging. But we're moving on to other kinds of food products, like ranging from, from water to juice to yogurt to cocktails to uh, desserts. So I get like a cocktail in a little pellet like you, this? You could like get, well, like, like a, a grape. It's like a grape of uh, <laughs> vodka, absolutely, um, which you could have in the freezer or you could have grapes of wine that are in a bottle, and so you can then take these little portion control grapes of wine. What's really interesting, too, Sounds is that... Sounds good to it, me. It is good. <laughs> so if you'd like to sip one of David Edwards' fanciful cocktails, just sidle up to the bar at the laboratoire in Cambridge and 
After a few cocktails, you might even be inspired to pursue your own big idea.